What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. <laughs> I just got a new watch. I want to show it to you. You know, it's actually been a little while since I've gotten a watch. Um, you know, at least a, 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 a nice watch, you know, for myself. So, uh, you know, I thought I'd treat myself. It's been a long year. Listen, um, I picked this up. This is from eGuard, and it's their V1 Gentleman Warfare watch. Um, now, this collection of watches has a number of different styles but i am super excited to unbox this with you here and take a look at this one because it's kind of something uh in a flavor i have never had now uh, i do want to kind of revisit a little bit of my history with eGuard. so eGuard is a watch company a micro brand based out of california i believe and if you check out my eGuard video from years ago now eGuard is interesting because uh the the owner Elon, um, a young guy, lots of vision, lots of style, um, and he wanted to start a company, you know, to work, I think, with and honor his father, and I think that's just an awesome, awesome story, you know, and it's a great way to start, and it's something, you know, I think a lot of us would love to do, you know, if we could. So, the, the, the fact of the matter is that they have made some really interesting watches, and the reason they got on my radar in the first place is that they partnered up with William Shatner, Bill Shatner of Star Trek fame. Uh, Captain James Tiberius Kirk himself and created a, a watch called the Passages Watch which was designed with Bill Shatner and was this really awesome looking watch it had a part of a meteor in it you know it was, it was just unlike any other watch I had ever seen and so I, I picked one up I pre-ordered it in a Kickstarter and it was just super super cool well made uh, you know particularly from a micro brand where sometimes you're just not sure you know and until you can hold something in your hand it's hard to know what they're going to produce now um, because I know that they take such pride in their work and produce such high quality things uh, it's no surprise that I'd be willing to uh, take a stab at another watch and, and one like this I think is, is is also interesting the other thing is they are kind of blowing up now I've seen their stuff on a variety of places I think like touch of modern and um, maybe even um, you know mass drop and places like that so they're all over the place but these warfare watches I want to just show you here you know we have some stats on them I'm going to go through that, but as you can see, the little preview here is that their cushion style case. Now, that looks like a pretty traditional looking watch to me, you know, the Shinola Brakeman, but this one is really unique. You've waited two and a half minutes to get to this part. E-Guard cross swords there, not cross stream, cross swords. And here it is. Uh, this one is an engraved model, and I'm just going to pull it out here. We have a, a nice watch box. I'm not sure. You know, looks like all the paperwork was, was outside the watch. So pretty cool. Um, and I did take a quick peek at it because I was just dying to take a peek at it when it came. And so I've got my fingerprints on it. But look at this thing. I mean, this is crazy. Cushion style case here, stainless steel, 316L as you'd expect. Uh, 45 millimeter case. So to me, just a wonderful, wonderful wearable size. And uh, anti-reflective sapphire uh, crystal here and you can see just slightly domed as well beautiful finish i mean the weight and the size of this thing is fantastic it has a customized automatic movement from miyota so uh, let's take a, take a look and see what we can see here i'm going to pull off the back here get a little plastic on the back and we do have a little bit of a look at that miyota movement now you can kind of see it in here i'm going to get in on that see the beating heart there as it is running Miyota movements are fantastic I've had a number of them in a number of watches I have never had a single problem with them they have been just super reliable and accurate we have all the e-guard information 095 on the back there and the second edition v1 gent um, 82 s7 automatic and five atmospheres water resistance so I do love the fact that we do have a little window there polished back uh, backing to the watch here with screws to remove it as you can see here we have a large you know um, very traditional onion style crown and what I really love about this is take a look at the engraving around the side not only is it truly reliefed in there but then the back is you know I'm not sure how they have color filled it but it's like a charcoal black even on the crown here with this little starburst there uh, the flourishes, the leaf pattern goes all the way around. This might inspire you and remind you of a number of things. To me, it it looks like a bunch of different things, including you know old school pocket watches. It reminds me of 
really um, ornate collectible hunting rifles, you know, little shotgun rifles where they would engrave those. It reminds me right now, I think of a lot of the Jesse James Firearms Unlimited uh, commemorative guns where he takes Damascus steel and engraves them and they are just fantastic. And to have engravings like this where there truly are you know where there's so much relief on it I mean you might be able to see there it's a little hard but you know I can feel it um, it just is is so much more impressive than you know kind of a quick laser etching like like on the back there right I mean this is just it just is very striking and I cannot remember seeing it on a watch like this aside from like some really antique pocket watches and, and whatnot so this is a really unique offering I think and just looks great and is done very tastefully right a lot of ornamentation you know even to paisley ties to me are maybe a little too much oh, a little too much pizzazz uh, but this man just looks crazy and it catches the eye but in a super super subtle way all right so let's take a look at this dial here too what we have is like a matching black charcoal dial and what you can see is just a little bit let me see if i can get those fingerprints really gone um is a little bit of like pinstriping so we have a little bit of a texture contrast on the dial itself vertically i love that We've got a big 12 and roman or arabic numerals at the top we have a multi-layer dial this outer bezel which is charcoal black with the minute markings 05 15 25 and then we have um, markers at you know the two o'clock six and ten o'clock positions and I just love the relief on the dial I mean the multi levels of the dial there and not only on the dial itself it says eGuard automatic on that side but look at you know we've got the see-through uh, window to the heart which passes all the way through I don't know if we can yet yeah, we can, whoops we can see all the way through there which is really really cool but then we have the spinning sub dials, right? So instead of hands moving, it's moving an entire dial. So most of the time you just have the hand there, but we have these little polished markers here, which show, you know, the seconds beating there as well as um, hours, you know, so you would know AM, PM on this white dial on this side. We have these skeletonized hands here, just beautiful. Some loom um, touches on the tips there. And I love that the hands reach to the minute markings as you would expect them to. So that is really cool. Just a really industrial looking style, but you know, a little steampunk, a little art deco. I mean, this is really, really cool and so unique. And that's one of the things that, as you know, on my channel here in my watch collection, I like off the reservation, things you don't see every day. I'm not into the always just like the big brands. In fact, sometimes I eschew the big brands just because they're so common, right? And there's nothing wrong with being common, but especially when you can spend, um, you know, a, a little money, right? You don't have to break the bank and find something that's unique off the beaten path uh, that really kind of resonates with you in terms of design and style and and it's something that you can enjoy and share with other watch guys who might and or even non-watch people i mean in this type of watch i think people might say what is going on here you know this cushion style case with the the circular dial but this this uh the flourishes right here even on the top edge of the case just absolutely amazing and then we have a very thick three or four millimeter leather band but man it is super supple I like the contrasting stitching here. We have kind of like a, a dark brown oxblood color brown here with a, a, just an off-white stitching and just fantastic. Take a look at the eGuard buckle here, brushed stainless steel as well, eGuard on there, but a pretty wide buckle right there as well, kind of almost uh, panorama-ish. Now, like I said, I love, you know, you might think a 45 millimeter is a big watch. I love this size watch. 44, 45 is just really my perfect size for me. And, uh, do I have a big wrist? I do have a pretty big wrist, but not like ginormous. I ain't a footballer, as they say in Britain, um, or a soccer player, like they would say here in the States. But man, look at that. I mean, you know, that is just, I mean, I think that's a perfect size for me. It, it kind of has a little bit of like the rec watch look. I mean, it just has that industrial looking style to it. Man, that is good looking. Um, I'm going to send this out to some of my buddies too. And uh, so you can check it out on uh, Watches Galore and uh, um, the Aaron Dunlop channel and any of the other channels that, uh, you know, are on my normal list that want to check it out too. I'm more than happy to, to share this with you because it is just a really, really amazing watch. And again, automatic, so you don't have to worry about batteries. You can wear this thing, powers it up 
on its own, but really, really cool. Now, maybe this is just a little over the top for your taste. You can get uh, the, the Gent watch here in a variety of uh, more traditional styles, you know, like this black one that we saw here on the cover. But then there are some other ones that I really thought looked amazing. Look, check out that blue, how, how gorgeous looking that is. You know, it'd be interesting to see some of these in person, but man, just, uh, just great. And like I said, I, you know, eGuard is a, um, a micro brand here that I've been following a long time and have absolutely all the confidence in the world. When I order a product from them, they have always been top notch. They have, uh, you know, uh, quality has never been second to anyone on this. So you can buy a watch from them at, you know, a, a place in your mind where you're going to be comfortable knowing that you're getting a really solid watch. And obviously, phenomenal internals here but man they they're just kind of pushing the envelope on creativity i love it i love it it's so hard to be creative in the watch world i mean so many things have been done it's kind of like music you know um to come up with a song that really is something new it can it can take a lot of work and a lot of time and you know to to come up and, and cross apply different disciplines to watch making is really impressive i'm just gonna pull this crown out here it's not a screw down crown and you just 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 to kind of quick show you that you can adjust time here so looks like it's hacking seconds as well but really really awesome thanks Solan uh, for uh, you know continuing to do fantastic work if you want the passages watch you know they were very limited edition and uh, sold out but if you're a Star Trek or a Shatner fan check it out sometimes they come for sale but that is a really really cool watch or check out my other video on that as well so um, I'm gonna hopefully check out some more e-guards over over the um, the next year here but man just really really awesome I love it I will put a link to eGuard's website in the description below and uh, a link to buying some of these eGuards. This one itself is $650 retail, and so I think just a really fair price for something that is just kind of uh, really spectacular and eye-catching. Check it out. Peter Brown Panda, out.